Hi, my name is Nick Island. I am doing Texas as my state. In the Southwest region, I think the greatest place to visit is Texas because it is home to sports teams, good weather, and fun places to visit. And this is the Texas flag. How Houston became the fourth biggest state. The city Houston was founded in 1837 after Augustus and John Allen had acquired land to establish a new town at the junction of Buffalo and White Oak Bayes in 1836. And here are pictures of Houston. How Texas became the Lone Star State. From 1835 to 1836, Texas fought to gain independence from Mexico and the resulting victory meant new flag for the newly independent of Texas. Great places to visit. Located about 50 miles southeast of Houston is Galveston. Houston Galveston attracts Texans looking for a convenient place to spend some time on the beach. Houston Houstons go to Galveston to get a night of fun and time to spend at the beach and with their family and friends. A good place to visit is Galveston because it is it has good weather, fun places to visit, and beautiful beaches. It costs one hundred forty seven dollars per day. The average price you need for meals is $42 a day. On transportation, you need to spend $28 at least. And here are some pictures of Galveston. Awesome. Great places to visit. Big Bend National Park. Big Bend National Park. Every year, roughly 450,000 people visit this national park along the U.S.-Mexico border to spend some time outdoors. Austin City's colorful character takes tex Texas to an entirely new level. Austin offers loads and ways of culture, choosing, and natural scenery. So here is Austin at nighttime where it's super bright and colorful. And here's Big Ben National Park. And Big Ben has a lot of people each year, and it attracts people with its nature. Austin has pretty buildings at night, and they have white shows mid-December until Christmas. It's 37th Street of Gold, the Loop, sunset until 11-ish. Great places to visit. No trip to Texas is complete without a visit to a rodeo. And it and in Houston there's no better place to watch riders saddle up than the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Houston, for children, two and under get to get to get in for free, but three up need to pay. In Houston they can get to forty seven degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, so it can get hot and cold. Land and water. Te Texans use about 16.5 million acre feet. An acre foot is enough water to cover one acre and of land to a depth of one foot. It is 325,851 gallons of water of all the the we use in Texas, about 60% is groundwater, the other 40% is surface water. And here's a picture of where they work at, where they work about the 60% and 40%. Natural resources. The natural resources are petroleum and income crops, crops, such as anchors, yield value, and wind energy. Here's the crops, here's the wind wind energy, and here's the petroleum and income. Wind energy helps crops grow for eating, selling, or to make things with. Crops as acres, yield value helps animals like cattle, horses, pigs, and many more. So wind energy and crops 
are like just a ongoing resource. And petroleum and income help te Texas by filling up their vehicles and not just that oil works or oil pumps. In Texas, you need to worry about the weather. It can get up to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, so you can wear sunscreen if you want. These are my sources. These are the websites I use to find my information for Texas, for a lot of things like crops to help Texas. And that is my, that is my slide. Thank you for listening.